Nittany Lion Roar with Extreme Panda here, and some people have been asking to see some videos where I use three and four star heroes, so I thought there's no better time than in a tournament. So we have a four star tournament going on right now. The missing color is red, so that means that green tanks are probably going to be some of the best out there. Uh, this is the defense team that I'm running. Uh, I guess you can't really see it up close. Here we go. Um, I... I really don't have a whole lot of four-star heroes to choose from, uh, at least not as many as a lot of people, um, but I went with Buddy the the Elf here <laughs> because um, I, I really like his special, how it's an attack down, but he also gets a minion, and um, uh, also he is a defense debuffer, which I think is one of the best effects in the game. Um, have I had any defenses yet? No, nobody has hit me yet, but I'm going to go try to hit some other people, um, and this particular battle, healing and resurrection have no effect, so you're going to notice on defense I didn't put any healers, and I'm going to do my best to remember not to take healers. So let's see here, we have a blue tank, so that means that I'm going to do buddy, Cademon and Cademon, and... Hmm, who else should I do? If I'm not going to do healers, I think it would help to take... Let's take both the Sonyas. Let me look at that defense again. Yeah, the Sonya on the far left, the costume, she can clear Buddy's effect on the opposing side. And Dan's Burrow's effect, so this is good. This should be a good team build. And I'm just trying to be as fast as possible here, so that's why I've got four fast heroes. Notice that I don't have any emblems on my four-star heroes. The only four-star hero I have with emblems is Costume Regard, because I use him all the time right alongside my five-star heroes, because I think he's, like, the best. Um, but, all right, here we go. Um, playing with three and four stars is a lot different, because when I play with five-star heroes, I also get to play with my level 23 and higher mana troops, which speed up the heroes a little bit, which doesn't happen here. So it takes a little more finesse to be uh, successful in these particular tournaments here. All right. Um, I'm not loving my options here. The Boral tank, you often just have to kind of fight right through it. Um, so that is what I'm going to do. Oof. This board's not great. I'm trying to get green to bunch before I start setting greens off. The problem is if Boral goes off with his perfect repost, then that's going to do a lot of damage when I do start making green matches. What do I want more, to make a second blue dragon bomb, or to make that purple diamond? You know, I think making the purple diamond is going to use up almost all the purple tiles anyway. I'm going to set off a nice big cascade if I make the blue dragon bomb, because it's going to set off a purple cascade and a red cascade. Which I think actually just ultimately gets rid of more tiles anyway, so let's go for that. If I'm going to hit Boral a lot, I might as well just hit him a lot. And this isn't even going to deal that much damage because I can clear that effect there with that Sonya, and she doesn't even get that hurt. Let's kill Danzaburo. Alright, good. By the way, um, 
people have asked me a lot what my favorite hero is and things like that. Um, no one's ever really asked me what hero I hate the most. I really hate Dansborough. Not because I think Dansborough is like a particularly bad hero or anything. I just, the art drives me crazy. I know it's like a, I know it's like a traditional Japanese thing potentially, but like, I don't know. There's just something about the art that gets to me. <laughs> I'm in a little bit of trouble right now. Mm, I think I just want to make a bigger space to ghost through. Let's go after the opposing Cademan. I love the minions, by the way. It's sort of like fake healing when you have minions like that. All right, nice. Okay, what, another Boral tank? This is supposed to be like no red, so put the green tanks out. But uh, I guess we just keep the same team. Okay, only two blue mashes. So I just start clearing away bad tiles. Okay, still two blue matches. Nothing too exciting yet. Hmm. The only good thing about setting off Boral here is that I really have none of my colors on the board, so it's not like I'm going to be dealing damage to myself. Let's just set them off and keep sending stuff up the middle. Not sure what else to do about that. Be nice to have a second and a third blue match. Yeah, I can do that. It's going to deal a lot of damage to me, though, unfortunately. I'm killing Grim because he's got that defense down, but he deals a lot of damage as well. So, oh, I was really hoping that would kill Boral. Oh, yeah, there's no healing. I forgot already. That's funny. All right, so Sonia will clear the defense down. And then we just win. Okay, so I haven't fought the strongest teams yet. Um, you're going to see it's a lot more difficult when I go up against defenses that have emblems. All right. 
yellow tank. Okay, now we're getting into the emblemed defenses. Still, they put a hero here. I'm not or a healer hero here. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Um. So I I do have costume regard there, but he's a healer. A healer over time, and the healing doesn't work. He does give an attack boost. I'm just not sure that that's worth it though. So I am going to load up on purple for sure. And, you know, the Sonyas are just so good. These are, both of them are costume Sonya. I'm just using different sides of the card for each of them. Cheshire Cat is good. Cheshire Cat's fast, I forgot about that. Why would I want to rearrange the enemy positions, though? I'm just not sure about that. I think I want to go with this. Yeah. Why would I want to rearrange the enemy positions when they've got purple on the end? I want to get the... I want to kill the purple down the middle first. Did I get my Proteus all uh, leveled up? I was working on a Proteus not too long ago. Nope, my Proteus is not leveled yet. So let's just run with this. All right, two purple matches. Don't want to make purple matches yet. Because I kind of want things to, I want the purples to bunch a little bit more. I usually only like to start making them when I'm close to having three matches. close yeah there we go that's what I'm looking for hmm who do I go after with this I know Melindor is not going to heal so I guess I go after Lijou that regard in the corner is not going to heal either That wasn't exactly the move I wanted to make. I messed that up. I love the Tiberta's costume, by the way. It does defense down to everybody. It's so cool. Regard will cleanse, but not heal. Ooh, I don't like that Proteus is going to go off. I wonder if that'll kill him. Nice. The only thing about not having emblems on my four star heroes is that I think it matches me up against opponents that are a little too easy. Like they're kind of on the same level. Like that defense had emblems, but I had two healers in there too, and that's just not ideal. All right, now we've got a green tank. Now we have to think a little harder. I haven't used mist yet. Maybe I want to use Mist. I think this will be the very first time I've used Mist. Do I want to go 4 1? Do I want to go 3 1 1? I could. Let's see here. The purple is a little too slow. I can speed things up a little bit with green.
All right, so what does Mist do? Um, deals 175% damage to the target and nearby enemies. The target and nearby enemies are immune to new buffs for three turns. The target and nearby enemies get minus 34% defense against special skills for three turns. The target and nearby enemies get minus 64% mana generation. That is a wonderful, wonderful special. But I want something that hits a little bit harder, too. So Mist is a great way to slow the opponent down a bit. Actually, I want to put Buddy right there to get full effect from the um, minions. Maybe I will just take Guardian Jackal. I'm thinking about it. You know, but the, the costumes are real good, too. Let's just see how this does. But I have a feeling that Jackal's a little too fragile, but maybe Buddy will beef him up a little bit with a minion. We'll see. We'll just see. Oh my gosh, one green tile. What am I supposed to do with that? What on earth am I supposed to do with that? Ooh, this is cool. But it's going to set Buddy off. I don't want to set Buddy off. It's whatever. Okay, so... Whose mana do I want to slow down? Yeah, um... I don't think I'm going to be able to he kill Hansel in time, so... Let's let's slow down this crew over here. I'm gonna set off the blue diamond to make room for more yellow and green. And then I'm gonna set that off because it'll make some green matches too. Okay. Um that should kill Proteus. Now that these guys have gone off, let's slow them down. I'm probably going to kill my Cademon here if I make this green match. Almost killed him. Try not to make a green match for a minute. Uh. Okay. There we go. A perfect six hundred. Wow. All right, so I'm undefeated so far, and I'm still only top 50%. Okay, nice. And now we're facing Mist. And here we've got a pretty highly emblemed defense. But there's still another healer in there. What is the point of that? Do, do people, like, not read the war or the battle type, the tournament type? I don't understand that. Sometimes the healers do something else, like Regard also gives an attack boost, which is really tempting, and he cleanses, he'll, he'd still do those two things, he just wouldn't heal. Mm -hmm. I really like the Sonyas. All right, let's see what we can do here. That's cool. A 
let's see what the green diamond can set up for us. Not much. Do I make the purple dragon bomb or do I send three tiles into mist? I just don't like the number of purples I have right now. It looks like I have plenty, but it's not enough to actually set off any of my heroes. Let's see if I can make any more appear first. Hmm. Well, it looks like I can make a purple diamond. I'm going to get so punished by Mist doing this, but I think it's best for the long run. Yeah, I think that blue tile will kill Sonya. I don't think Cyprian's that threatening. Liju is. Alright. Now I just have to outlast Kashrek and Cyprian. Try not to send too many tiles into Cyprian. Why is there a healer on this defense? That makes no sense. Oh, uh, don't set Cyprian off. I just finished clear uh, dispelling him. Uh, okay, well. There we go. All right, undefeated. And... Well, we jumped from top 50% to top 5%. Nobody has attempted my defense, though. So we'll see how that goes. All right, well, uh, that's me attacking with some four-star heroes and talking about a few of them and the ones that I like. I mean, if you want to see kind of what I got going on with four-star heroes. Uh, let's see, starting right around here, yeah. Um, Costume Regard, uh, if you've watched my videos, is probably my favorite four-star hero. Um, I've got two Sonyas there. I really like the Costume Sonyas a lot. I've got Liju, Costume Tiburtis, um, Mist, Mireweave. Mireweave's really good, too. Um, Triton, I like using Triton a lot. Cheshire Cat is really good against yellow heroes. Um, yellow Titan, mainly, I think is his deal, but... Um, yeah, and then, as you can say, I like my defense down heroes like Buddy, Grim, Gormek. Um, I have a lot of Kirils that used to be, when I used to run a whole lot of 3-2 or 4-1 in wars back in the day, I used to have a Kirill on every team. Obviously, Kirill has now been replaced with Costume Regard. Uh, I like my mana effects like Hansel, Gretel, Merlin. I don't use Gretel that often, though. Uh, Hansel's way better than Gretel. Um, Guardian Jackal, my elemental defense down. So, 
This is what I got going on for four star heroes. You can kind of tell which ones I value by which ones I've leveled up. If they're average speed, it's probably because they're a healer uh, that doesn't just heal but does something else as well. Or they're defense down. I don't have too many average speed heroes leveled up otherwise. Um, otherwise, it's like some average speed hero that does something else, like a support type of hero. And then a bunch of fast sniper types to uh, just be as quick as I can. Okay, anyway, um, this was a video a lot of you asked for, so there you go. It looks like I get to collect some of the Path of Valor. Alright, some emblems. Okay, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.